But anything you do was not safe to land or uh, upset. What bills do you pull? Oh, I'm lost. No. Basic functions of board and reverse, you know you're turning on, you know about you know the charging you can be using it. So charging is obviously on this plug and that side of it. Yeah. As much as you can plug into this side of it, it won't do anything. No, so we'll charge it. No, but we get a plenty of do. Yeah, I can so imagine. Your charging side of it is on that plug. Yeah. Um, basic check round is make sure that when you use it, this is at the correct height for you. Yes. Because it's got a limiter switch on it, which is underneath there. If it's too high, then that function there doesn't work. Which function? That red button function. The real idea is that if you're working backwards like this and you go into a corner, it pushes it off you. So the idea is that it's you in the stomach, rather than the whole thing crushes you. Um, it's always... Best practice if one person is using it, not two. If you've got two on it, somebody might just do this and run over somebody's feet with that. And while this while the screen is something like that. So it would just be a case of doing that. Yeah. Um, and, as, 
in a close confined area, would you push the bins out and then we'll come onto it? Onto it, yes. Right. And then we'll then we want to move the control. Yeah, the because if you get in too much of a restricted area, yeah. even on its slowest setting, it wants to set off relatively quick. Yes, I mean, I it doesn't have a, a high maximum speed. Yes. At low setting, but it will yeah. move fast, and that's enough to push you into a corner, especially yes. if you've yes. got yes. been on it. And I also know it's good to um, when you you're accessing as you turn. Yes, it, it goes faster. It, yeah, because it's the yes. geometry of the, the, yes. the handle going around wants to pull you around on the handle. So again, it's yes. you've got a speed limit here. Yeah, that will adjust the speed. You know about that. Yeah. So you yeah. know how that works. That's there if you want to see that. Well, what's in it? Upstairs, we stored it away in the cupboard, so yeah. we put it on what to get in the cupboard. That allows the speed to be raised and lower. But its reaction time to acceleration is always about the same, just because we've achieved a higher top speed. Um, these guys have been using it until they realise that, so having it as slow as possible when you're manoeuvring in tight spaces is the best yeah. thing. Put it on what? Best practices, if it's possible, if the bins are in a tight area. Pull them out, come on, when you pull them in a straight line rather than trying to maneuver it because it will end up catching you. Um, if there's two people, like I said, there's always the danger. One goes, Oh, I'll go and put the bin on there, and the other guy catches the bin and traps him in. So um, try and avoid that best of, best of your ability. Um, always be careful, as you may well have found out, the tyres protrude slightly wider. Mm -hmm. If you do catch a wall, Anything like that, or on the side of the pallet, it'll want to try and climb up it. Mm. It's powerful, it, you know, it pulls a lot of weight. So, the side wall and the tire wall actually grip on a pallet or on a wall. That's the only time you'll get it to lift. But by that point, I think it'll let go. The braking is taking place, it's actually got brakes on it, it's got a brake on it on the motor. So, as you know, yourselves, yeah. you let go. You can hear that, that's, that's your brake coming in and yeah. out. It's just basically a disc brake on the motor, but that's direct onto the axles, so it shouldn't run away yeah. with a bin on it. Shouldn't? Well, we haven't got to no, that. No, no. We've got a slope yeah. on the way out, so. I've seen these pulling caravans, yeah. static caravans. Yeah, I can believe it. So that's what that's what we'll do with a different hitch system on it. Um, checking it wise, in terms of your charge, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Just make sure it's fully charged up. You'll get to know your battery life. Yeah. If the battery life deteriorates, obviously you won't get a week out of it. How often do you charge it? What's in it? Put it on charge every night. Every night, every okay. Night. Do, you, do you find it needs it every night? Uh, it's, it's just what we've okay. done since we've had it. Uh, right. we, need to, do we need to charge it every night? No, no. I would say how, how often do you use it? We use it every, every, day. Day. every day. For how long? We turn it for the full eight hours. Oh, so it's on the go all the time. Oh, Maybe oh, then keep okay. the battery on charge. A lot of these will just be used for like an hour a day. No. No, if you're pretty, using it that much. Pretty much used all day, yeah. yeah. By all means, yeah, put it on charge every night. Um, obviously, you know about the horn. Yeah. Do you, do you need a beacon down here? It hasn't got a beacon on it. We do do a beacon kit for it. Yeah, we've got another tub with a beacon on it. This one has another one. wasn't asked to suspect it with one, so we Right, went. that's fine, that's fine. There's some for it and it's yeah. on a sort of pole. What? Yeah. Off to get does it, does it need to have one or is it? Is it that's out beyond yours, it's your site, it's your rules. If you need a beacon, we can Yeah, if the site requires it, whoever the management. Right, yeah, I'll, I'll ask about that. Yeah, then it does get, it does get our support. Um, tire pressures, is it on the service truck? It's recently had a tyre repair that we organised. So right. We so, that right. So, tyres just keep. Do you have a way of blowing them up themselves? No. Just try and keep on top of so keeping them inflated if you can get a, a, mm -hmm. an inflator. What is the pounds per square inch? Yeah, you're looking at about one bar. One bar. So, what's that in pounds per square inch? I don't know. I'd have to help do that on a. Is that shop. about, what, 25? Tell you that. We do it in a bar. So that's yeah. how they ask us to do I'm it. I'm not used to buying it. The issue you will get is they will spin the rim inside. If it drops, the yeah. pressure drops, you won't have the vibe of the actual side of the tire to the rim because an engineer will tell you it'll spin it. Well, and also, what turn it? When yeah. the tire's flat on one side, it's in balance. Yeah. What's yeah. the point? What's the point? How much? 45. 
14. Oh, 14. Right. So, yeah, it, if it spins it, it will shed it off the tyre, then yeah. it'll, it'll want to you know, pull you around. So, it's always a good idea to do a visual check, mm -hmm. but a weekly check on the pressure is always a good idea. Right. Just to stay on top of that. You need to what to make a pressure gauge or something like that to find out. Yeah, or a pump yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah, a little compressor, a plug in one. Yeah. And you can run off a vehicle. Would you have a vehicle down here? You can look at it. Yeah, can be, so yeah. you could do that. Um, again, just keep an eye on tyre condition. Mm -hmm. Pallets, nails come out of pallets, builders oh, need don't nails come out. Yeah. So if you do get something in it, you have a reporting process for things like. Uh, yeah, I mean, we, we've got it on these to these and whenever there's an issue, just as well. Yeah, and we'll right. Okay, right. Yeah. Just really things to say, like. Nails and tyres are yeah. always going to cause you a problem. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to go into the, the batteries. Normally, we deal with the batteries. If, if you've got a service contract, then that's what we come out and do. Every six months, we come out, check your gravities on your batteries, check your mechanical really batteries are good so you can get A, the, the daily run out of it you want, but A, it'll, and B, it'll last through till the next six month service. Um, and there's greasing points on the axles as well, which again we deal with all that. If they get a bunch of these, if they're left too long between servicing the axles, the wheels seal onto the axles, you can't strip them off, uh, and then it gets expensive. So I would sort of like say service them. because these used to be made, if you have a bunch of old yeah, you can get on it. Yeah. So yeah, that's not a problem. Front end here is your normal connection, you know about your pin. Just always make sure it's it's just starting to waste there, but that's yeah. not too bad. But you do get just wasting there. So just just keep an eye on that. Again, that's even on a service you know, we take it on a service yeah. about time to replace that. Um, you know about the fact that it's got the little locking notch that's in right, it. Yeah. Um, and when you work, when you use it, just make sure you don't see any cracks appearing. Yeah. In these these welds, mm -hmm. if you're just pulling bins, and have you got the flexible arms for it for yeah. connecting yeah. to your bins, right? So if you've got the flexible arms, they don't put a lot of stress on anything. No. But you can see that one's just starting to bend down. Yeah. So keep an eye on it for cracking. If you get any cracking, you can let us know. Yeah. I don't know. Again, I don't know what your policy is yourselves whether you have a guy will come out and repair it or you'll order it back from us. It's a bolt on part. Just a bolt on part. I'm just exchanging. Yeah. I'm just wondering what's causing that to flex there. Is that the up and down? It's the just a push. It could be. It could be. Yeah. 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 Just pushing yeah. on it. Um, but that is the main connection. We do modify some of them where we've got heavier use on them. Um, but generally that's we've got our own segregation rate. We'll just come and take it out. Come out and take it out. Yeah. You can have a little bit always put something on it. The problem is you can't put it because if you do, you end up with too narrow a jaw area, and then you can't turn yeah. quite as well. Um, everything else is pretty straightforward. Mm -hmm. um, to know anything else you want to know about it. So what's yeah. the restrictions on the numbers of bins? Numbers of bins. <sighs> on the what, what weight are you looking at in one of your bins? Yeah, yeah. Advice, 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 the damage they've done. Yeah, well, when I've tried it, it'll easily move more than that. Yeah, it's the most useful. Yeah, it's the most useful. Because what's so much useful is when you go for it, just at the front end. It's just full of the back of the front end, and then having yeah. got control over it. So I just use one button. You're using. We've just used. Oh, you've got the fixed bar. I always go fixed bar. Yeah, that's the other side. So there's not quite as much flex in it some of them have got a pivot there and a pivot there and off the wheels yeah these are the sensor ones yeah, yeah. we yeah. just we just pull one bit at a time one. We just, yeah we don't. right okay don't go over three i wouldn't go over one no <laughs> no it will open 
do it. I know it will. Yeah. Yeah. I know it will. Well, it tends to... We have got the public in that walking about. We've got lots of it. A sliding gradient from where we would have to come round. Right. Lots of it, so the back bin will move over. Yeah. So I won't have that. When we were here last time, I said, if you do have them in a tray, have some on the back bin. Just come back Yeah, well, unfortunately, there's... But be aware that that back bin is on its own almost. It may be attached to you. But they'll come round at multi-storey car park in Manchester and they did that. Got the back bin hooked round the wall. Somebody went to free it off. It wasn't on one of these, it's a different issue. It didn't put that way it's off and three went down the hill. Took out a range over. Yeah, that's what that's what yeah. my supervisor yeah. advised. That's, advise that's what they're doing, yeah. stick with that. You know, that, that works. I can tell it's not being abused, it's not been doing too much work because the leaves were the mess by then, and it's been here. We have two, two crews, so I'm the one that mm. uses it while my supervisor's, this supervisor's on, and then lots of other people use it when I'm not here. Yeah, so yeah. I reported the actual stem, yeah. right, first thing in the morning to you dinner, mm. right, a week or so ago, right, about what's in it, how awkward it was. Yes, that, right. that looks So like I knew there was something there. not right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and um, we can change that push rod in there. There's a gas strut inside, okay. which has got it's an adjustable one, but, but that has to be in the right position. If it's in the wrong position, it's too high. There's a roller switch underneath the arm. The bit that won't function. And is that something you can look at now? We can not. We don't carry them on stock. I can put down it because it's got bent link that actually so you won't want to use them. I can put something down on it. Um, we don't know the cause because what's in it. I reported it when I found it. So I don't know why or how it got them. Yeah. Right? But it'd be interesting to find out. I don't know how it got done. Right. Right. Because for, when we store it away, we need to have the arm up. Right? Which is a small area. Like I say, it seems really safe. Did you only notice it a week ago? About a week ago, wasn't it? As I said to him, I said, it's not going up. It should do. See when it's up like that, it won't, it will not drive. It, it disconnects the roller switch down here, which is for yeah. your safety. Because right. if you're using it like that, you imagine if you're using it like that, you back into a corner. This thing's coming with you. And it, yeah. it will crush your legs. Yeah. Um, and well, it pushes people off over the top of barriers and stuff like that. Yeah, at the moment, it's, it, that's what I mean. Yeah, that should, move freely. that should be completely easily to position. Anything you want to know? Ask me. Yes, a key question. Right? What? I always ask about electrical vehicles. Right, let's say, mate. What happens if the ignition fails? Right. Yep. Or I haven't got power. Right, and I want to move it. It was like this wouldn't live here tonight. Right, that has to go back upstairs. Right, it's something failed. Sadly, it? yeah. this can't be moved. Right. If there's power failure on this, these don't move. There's no override for the braking system on it. No override no, whatsoever. No override for the braking system, so... Um, so we'd have to use a pallet truck or something? Yes, it? we right. would. So to recover so it. So that's yes. we're stuck. We need a pallet truck and we need to... Right, well, got well. Ho hopefully, it'll never happen. But... And if you were to try and put a set of forks under this, is, would you do anything inside of the wheels? Just try to yes, it to I would go that way. You're safe for going that way with it. Pilot truck would go that way with an arrow, No, not quite trying to look at a fork, a set of forks then. A set of forks and you've got adjustable times. Yeah, a set of forks. But have you got a fork truck? No. Pilot truck would go through the middle, I think, wouldn't it? Yeah. 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 We'll go yeah. 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 Yeah.